So this tutorial will show you how to cut a person out and put it, um, put that person in another picture and also make the person somewhat transparent. Maybe the person has died or just wasn't there and you wanted to show the person was there in spirit. So um, we're going to add a person to this particular picture. So we're going to come over here and uh, go ahead and open up both of your pictures. And I'm going to use this tool. You can use whichever selection tool you want, but I'll pretend this is the gal that I want, and I will just um, cut her out with the magic selection brush. But again, choose whichever selection tool you like. And I'm not going to be perfect on this because I want to just show you the basics. And I would spend a little time making sure that I had the person um, cut out the way that I wanted her and adjust the brush so that it was thinner or whatever. Once I have the person selected the way that I would like her selected, then I can just drag and drop her with um, the move tool and move her into the other photo. So again, once I have her selected, I can just click and drag and click until I get her on the other photo, or I could copy and paste the layer. I'm just going to click and drag until she comes over into this other picture. Now, of course, I can um, get her enlarged or whatever I want her to be. And I said I kind of wanted her to be a little bit transparent. So I come up, make sure I'm on the correct layer, and I change my opacity until she's kind of like a ghost or a spirit in the picture. And then, of course, I can just save it if I needed to flatten the layers. But when I go up and save, I do want to make sure that I save it as the PSD so I can do for future editing. But when I'm completely finished, I want to save that as a JPEG um, or a PNG if I want to preserve that transparent background. So once I save it as a JPEG, it will be flattened down to a single image. So that's how um, you would make like kind of a ghostly figure into your Photoshop document.